Hey, your voice for the masters, welcome back. Today we're taking a magnifying glass to build a truly dynamic voice flow AI agent. We are moving beyond basic responses and integrating custom functions to manage memory, handle real world time, and crucially interact with the knowledge base in an optimized way. We will be dissecting this Harmony agent workflow step by step. We will also look at the JavaScript code behind these custom functions examine the exact variable mappings, simulate calls, use actual trace data, and understand how Harmony uses context, time, and knowledge to respond intelligently to the user. This deep dive is all about practical application, seeing how custom code empowers your agent, and how optimizing data flow, especially from your knowledge base, impacts performance. If you want agents that remember, react to the real world, and use your data efficiently, then stick around. I may have lost my voice today. As always, we start at the start block, and then the flow immediately greets the user with the welcome message using a message block. So we want Harmony to sound natural from the get-go. We use Welcome to Nexus Flow Innovations. I am Harmony, your virtual assistant. How can I help you today? Using the user question block, we then capture the user's inputs and then store it in the variable last utterance. So this variable then drives the workflow. Right after capturing input, we encounter our first custom function, the conversation memory manager. This isn't just a simple variable assignment. It's a dedicated piece of code that is designed for robust context management. So as we can see from its features, this specific function is quite advanced. It supports multiple storage formats like default, compact, or detailed, which gives us a certain level of flexibility. It also has optional timestamps for precise tracking, and it also provides useful statistics like 10 count and memory size via output variables like memory 10 count and memory size bytes. Here we feed it with the user's last utterance, the agent's last response from the previous loop cycle, and then the current custom memory state. We've also configured maximum memory to six tens and enabled the timestamps to true. And most importantly, we've selected the memory format as default. So this current maximum memory is higher than the current VF memory because the VF memory has five and this has six you can modify this to 20 or to whatever number that you want remember that 110 is a chat between an agent and a user we have enabled adding timestamps and we've specified the memory format as default we can specify it as detailed or compact either of them still work depending on your use case let's quickly see what those format options mean for the data which is being stored we have the default format and this is a simple key value pairs between the assistant and user and it's easy to read it includes timestamps and is a good all-round choice and the one we are currently using in the harmony a agent. Next is the compact format, which combines the user and the assistant messages into one text string. And it is more space efficient because it would use more fewer tokens if passed to LLMs later. The next that we have is the detailed format. This is highly structured with 10 IDs and nested objects. And this is good or best for complex analysis, but uses more space. The function adds the latest 10, then trims the history if maximum memory is exceeded and critically maps the updated JSON history back into the same custom memory function variable. This kind of persistence is what gives Harmony its conversational context. The error output maps to the error message for the dedicated error part. Afterwards, the flow calls the Kronos Global Time Formatter custom function. This function uses the JavaScript to get the current time and format it correctly for a specific time zone, even handling complexities like Australian Daylight Saving Time. It uses the International API, and we would also be able to notice some traces within the function when it's executed. A voice flows function testing is fantastic. We will input our settings and then we hit run. So let's give it a test. This is its current time in Auckland. Let's test that here. 
we can see it's 9.56, it's 9.56 here. Let's get a different time zone. So the time is 8.57 p.m. Let's check the time. 8.57 p.m. There are also traces that can help in you debugging any issues or telling the sequence in which the execution was done. This log gives us insight into the function's internal steps. This formatted variable allows Harmony to accurately answer questions like are you open by comparing this current Sydney time against NFI's business hours that is defined in its prompt. You can also combine this with the user's time zone detection example such as using variables through the browser extension for truly personalized time sensitive responses. The next function in this particular workflow is the knowledge base retriever. Place here my VF API key and then I've asked a set of questions after the threshold of that and I do not have any tags so I specify it as null throughout. However, I want clean chunks. We can see the sources. We can also see the question that we used and the chunks that were clean. However, when you compare the clean chunks to the original chunks, we can see the original chunks has some kind of numbers here, which is not relevant. It's going to increase the token cost. We also have information about the original chunks, which we set, and then the actual chunks that was returned was three because the highest score was 0 0.533 that. So it removed these chunks and these chunks were below this 0 0.5 so it gives a bit more information let's try and download the logs from the log information this is the clean chunks this is the full chunks and usually i prefer to use this version because this version is cleaner than this version and you can see all this information is not relevant to the llm so it's better to always use the clean chunks now this is the start of the show the harmony agent it's able to inject the last utterance, the custom memory, and the formatted time. We have a detailed prompt loaded, guiding its behavior and decision logic. We are also using GPT-40 with a low temperature for factual consistency and a generous maximum tokens limit. This agent has access to the knowledge base chunks retriever. Notice its LLM description strongly guides the agent to use it for NFI specific questions and define finding clear exceptions. The crucial output part, that is KB answer found. We also have KB searched no answer. We also have other parts that are being triggered based on the user's query and you can have a good look at it when you have your hands on the template. And this is for request handoff. There are two knowledge base chunks retriever one of them has like a lot of outputs then the other has just three output for your agents i do recommend you use the one with the three output the main reason being that the voice flow agents will tend to synthesize all the information that comes in here all the information that comes in here so if you have clean chunks it is going to contain like 10 chunks the same 10 chunks the same amount of 10 chunks here plus all these data is going to really burn your tokens so you just select the ones that are relevant whether the query was successful and then also we have the chunks that were returned along with the number of chunks after filtering so these are the three important ones for Harmony's primary task of answering the question, it mainly needs the KB sources, the chunks count, and then the chunks. Therefore, we are using the knowledge base chunks retriever key output version, which is coded to return only these essentials. This keeps the interaction lean and efficient. And of course, you can choose the version based on what your agent needs. Harmony receives the input and the memory as well as the, the current date and time. And then it does the step one. And then if in the step one, there's none that is much, it just then execute step two. And then it calls the optimized KB function. And then it waits for Q 
key resources like the KB sources and then the chunks count. And based on this, it follows the prompt logic to generate the agent's response using the chunks that are relevant. And it also then selects the output part, which is one of these ones here. We're going to try to simulate a conversation to see this whole integration. Wow, that is very good. Here it uses the conversation memory manager to store that information and then it executes the function. And within the function here, it gets the clean chunks from the database. So all these are clean chunks from the database and then it provides a response here. So this is all the response there. Let's try and test the memory. Second one we have is the advanced image analysis. Let's see if it knows that. Okay, that's very good. So it knows the second one. It knows about that. And one unique thing you may notice is that it did not execute the knowledge base for that because it as an AI agent can actually speak a lot to this without necessarily contacting the knowledge base. So it's autonomously using that and this helps to save the tokens. The next question is that we're going to test the time. At the moment it's 8.20 p.m. Where I am in Sydney, we are currently closed. So let's see whether it knows about that. Okay, that's very good. Okay, that's very good. So 8.18 p.m., which is exactly around the same time here now. So it knows that we are closed. So the final one we're going to do is to test this path here about request handoff. You can see that it went through that part. This architecture delivers intelligent natural language understanding. I'm using the agent and also it uses the memory function to have conversational context and it uses the time function to have real world awareness and it has factual grounding using the KB function and it's also optimized because we are using only the relevant KB output and dynamic pathing or dynamic flow. So this is very ideal for sophisticated customer support support, internal knowledge agents, and personalized assistants. We've gone deep today and we've explored custom functions with their code and traces. And we've also optimized KB interactions for the agents. Step. We've seen how the memory and real time data empower our agents and this detailed look at the Harmony agent workflow, including all those specific variable mappings in the function test. These showcases how to build truly advanced conversational experiences in voice flow. How are you optimizing your function outputs for the agent step? What custom functions are proving most valuable? I would like you to share your thoughts in the comments. If this deep dive helped, smash that like button and subscribe for more voice flow mastery content. Thanks for joining this deep dive. Keep building those amazing custom agents and I'll see you in the next video.